out. So y'all remember last night? <laughs> Look at this. It's huge. Look at this railing. Look. It's like as tall as my hand. Oh, crazy girl. Oh, crazy girl. I just woke up and I figured before I do anything else, I should check the goats. Oh, oh, isn't it beautiful? Look at the trees. Oh, it is very much inconvenient, but it's also gorgeous. Oh, look at that. It's like a gingerbread house. I need to bring my really good camera that only takes pictures and like take some really pure, pretty pictures at this stuff because it's gorgeous. Okay, let's see as we're approaching the goats. Can we hear anything different? Hear any baby goat noises? Is that a baby goat noise? No, no it's just regular. Hey Penny, can I feel you? Definitely getting loose. Let's look at their backside. Her udder looks pretty much the same. This is getting really goopy. And her ligaments are like halfway, I'd say maybe halfway gone. And then look at all this like wet stuff on her tail too. She's definitely getting closer. Let's see if we can peek at Tessa. She looks pretty normal. Let me see if I can feel Millie's ligaments again. They're still there. They're in a weird position because her legs are in a weird position. But they're still pretty tight. Okay, then, it actually got way less cold than I thought it would, so I can probably open this up. I'm not sure if the goats will want to go out in all the snow. Isn't it just beautiful? Look at those trees. Oh, I just can't get over it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Yeah, you wanted to go out so bad, didn't you? And now you're like, actually, never mind. Goats hate getting wet. So I'm not sure if, like, snow counts as, like, wet for them, or if it's, like, dry and powdery enough for them to, like, step in it still. And so far it looks like they're going to be spending their whole day in the barn. Hello. No babies. Hi. Stay back, Roxy. Good girl. We'll check back later. Hello friends, it's time for the evening goat check of January 25th. Hey Tessa, are you going to let me check on you? Maybe, probably not. Okay, from what I could feel, her ligaments are still tight. Let's do Penny next. Ooh, this is a great bum shot. Look at all that goop starting to come out. And her udder is still nice and full. That's really good. Let's feel her ligaments. They're still tight, that's good. Then final check, Millie. Ligament's still tight. She still looks pretty good too. And her udder doesn't look super big either. Like, not all of a sudden filled up. So that's good. All right, see you all tomorrow. Good morning, get off. Good girl. Good morning. Boy, so yesterday, everything was warm. It was like barely freezing. Everything was all slushy. It was like 35, 36. And I was like, yeah, the snow is melting. Well, now everything froze. So all the, like, the half-melted snows turned into like snow slash ice. And today is the day when Penny is due to have babies. I'm really hoping it's today, except for that we have a doctor's appointment today at three o'clock. So I really don't want to miss it because of a silly doctor's appointment. Did you guys have babies? No babies, except for these ones. Hi Daisy, hi. But oh my gosh, look at this belly. Look at her, she's humongous. Uh, and Millie's pretty big too. Look how big she is. Uh, she's acting kind of weird. She's breathing strange. Let's look at that back. Oh! 
Guys, did you see what I just saw? I think it's time. We can't really cancel a doctor's appointment, but it's looking like she might just give birth this morning and then everything will work out. Did you see how dilated her cervix is? Oh, that's so exciting. Ugh. Does anyone else like procrastinate terribly and then find themselves in a huge mess? Like me, <laughs> look what I just did. So this seems to happen like every time we have baby chicks hatching or anything like that, or we have to like wean baby rabbits, is I always like wait to the last minute to like set things up. So we have a doe that's already either in pre-labor or like actual early labor. And I still haven't set up her birthing stall yet. She still seems pretty early. I think last time Millie was giving birth, her cervix was dilated like that. And it still took her like 12 hours to give birth. So I think we're okay. Okay, let me run inside, tell the family, grab some tools, then come back out. Okay, let us rush. We shall run like deer. Running away from Roxy. Roxy loves chasing deer, but she never like does a good job at it because they're so much faster than her. Okay. So I decided instead of scraping everything out and trying to clean all the chicken poop stuck to the floor, I just switched the pallet doors. So now, come on, Penny. Come in. Go inside. Good girl. Let's feel those ligaments. I can still kind of feel them. A little bit, but definitely softening up a whole bunch. Let's get another good look at this backside. Look at that. So swollen. So good. You're going to do a good job, Mommy. Don't you worry. And take your time. Okay. Penny has food. Penny has water. And Penny has a clean stall separated from the rest of the goats. All we have to do now is more waiting until she starts going into active labor, then I'll call everyone out, and we can all witness the birth, hopefully, as a family. See you guys in a little bit. We have to leave in a couple minutes to go to a doctor's appointment, and we're going to do a last check on Penny before we leave. I'm really scared that we'll miss the birth because we're gone, but it's just going to be two hours. Her vent is actually swelling less than it was earlier, and her udder looks pretty much the same. I guess we'll just leave her here and hope she doesn't give birth in the two hours we're gone. She'll probably be just fine, though. Okay, better hurry. We'll be back soon, goats. Don't worry. Hope I didn't miss the birth. Did you escape? Okay, I'm gonna have to find a better way to secure this. No babies, but lots of goop. Come on, Penny, come back inside. Back in your stall. Oh, back in. Thank you. Okay, let's feel ligaments. Ooh, nice and squishy. That's good. The udder's really full. Much more full than last time I checked, I think. And goop is starting to come out. She may be in early labor even more. So glad we didn't miss the birth. Okay, it's around 9 o'clock in the evening. Let's check for babies. No babies, but that little string of goop is a little bit bigger. Okay, so now comes the question. Do I sleep through the night and then check on her in the morning? Or do I come out during the night and check on her? And if that's the case, how many times do I do that? Okay, I've decided to maybe come check on her like once or twice tonight. But I'm going to sleep in the house. I'm not going to like stay out here in the barn. I'm not going to stay up all night. I might change my mind if I come out and see a huge change. But she's probably just going to stay the same as she is now. 
and then give birth tomorrow morning during the daytime. But I guess we'll have to wait and see for sure if I'm correct or not. Hopefully you don't miss the birth. That's a nice little udder you've got going on, Tessa. Definitely not big, but getting a little bit bigger. Let's check you, Millie. Hi. Hey, sweetie. Oh, ligament's still very much there. I'm gonna go potty. Okay, that's all right. No goop. And her udder doesn't look like it's super full. So while she's close, she's not nearly as close as Penny. That's good. Hello, Miss Violet. Hello. Hi.